Now, he brought the sun to London, the waterfalls to New York, and a rainbow to Denmark. Now, one of the world's best-known modern artists, Olafa Eliasson, has created something a little smaller, if no less stunning. Nine light-filled glass books. The artist gave Katie Razzle a preview before his exhibition opened in Madrid. They're a window onto nature. From an artist who grew up in the vast beauty of Iceland. An exploration of light and our response to it. You could almost dive into the book yeah. here. And, and if we flip the, the color of the glass, then adds to the color of what we just had. Olafur Eliasson's created nine books in all. Each page nearly a metre high, made from hand-blown glass, they're called A View Becomes a Window, celebrating, he says, the book at a time when it's under threat from the digital revolution. The thing is, a great novel or a great book or a great work of art, it shows that there is value where we have forgotten to look for a while. And this is what these books are about. The pages change with the light as you move, depending on the time of day or what's around them. In this Madrid gallery, they reflect the glass roof above. This is the artist who brought the sun to two million people at London's Tate Modern almost exactly a decade ago. Olafur Eliasson is preoccupied with light and how we use it. His art is more about our response than the object itself. And you go there and you go like, oh, then that, I, I have to work. I have to give something in order to get something. The potential in it lays really within how it not only affects you, but it also asks from you to co-produce it. And while London got the Elias and Sun, New York for a time had waterfalls, and Denmark has a rainbow panorama set atop a museum. It works if you move. Only then will you see the world in a spectrum. Eliasson is political, about climate change and our shared responsibility to the planet. How does the world feel when I touch it? And what does that do to me and how can I then, you know, change the world by touching it? And is there an answer? Yeah, little son. <laughs> it's you! Little Sun is his solar-powered lamp, here part of a project he choreographed, but being distributed to people across the world who don't have electricity. Eliasson says that bit's the artwork. Not for him a back seat. He attends the World Economic Forum in Davos, and with politicians and corporations tainted, he says, one thing people can still trust is art. Do we need do we need bloody glass books? Do we? Yes, I do. Well, clearly, wow. I, well, I need them. Well, because they're incredible. Eliasson's books are the latest in a series created over years. Anish Kapoor's wound book had paper but no text. And some Kiefer's constellations are made from lead and Anthony Caro's from different metals. And here, that, that also changes. But believe it or not, this artist was also a Scandinavian breakdance champion. So a breakdance is like kind of touching the world, right? It gave me some confidence that I actually fill up a little bit, not a lot, but a little bit of space with my body in the world. So I think breakdancing is incredibly important. I think the world would not be the same without it. As his glass books launched at Madrid's Contemporary Arts Festival, an audience gathered to view another work of art. The source of so much of what Olafur Eliasson does. It's quite a spectacle. Eliasson's books will eventually end up in museums around the world.